It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit, unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, my, my mind drifted for a second. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, 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 they hit it off. Aw, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house, sharing your toothbrush. Where? Oh, that's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like the concept of just getting a new sister, like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both look like little skinned potato blobs. Ah, Ren, why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Passengers, will be arriving soon. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like. Yeah, the let's do it. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas, like Jonas Salk, right? Patient zero, AIDS guy. It's um biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing, so... Tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. Ah, <laughs> that's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see.
Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. The last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... No, it's, it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay, I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. And not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons, lemonade, however that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. Oh, stop it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. That was, um... That was Mike's room, actually. So, there wasn't that much to set up. Oh. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring it up. It's okay, you didn't know. It's nice at night, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. When the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. It's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy? Yeah, it's like a quiche. Block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? Uh, okay, sure. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy Blackburn. in a way, right? On October yeah. 28, I hate thinking about it. It, was sunk it reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. As well as 12 arm Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year under the command of Lieutenant James Earl Clapman. On October 28, 1943, it was sunk by the Japanese sub-chaser Tokusada some 25 miles off the coast of Washington and remains, to this day, the only submarine casualty in American waters. 85 officers, as well as 12 Army passengers, were lost. The propeller was recovered in 1962 and in 1965 erected as a monument to the heroism of the brave men and women who tragically perished. 
Named after the whole... Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, all right. Damn, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Well, we're here. Maybe I want to buy an ornament or something. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wait, how'd they pull that? Isn't, like, security an important thing in military bases? Yes, but apparently the desire to have cheap sex with floozies will overcome all borders. It's the American way. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark, the town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. It's, uh, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the Damn. other- That woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Well, if it's on an island, then yeah. Monkey butlers, lobster wives. It's the dream. Oh yeah, what was I thinking? Lobster wives. It's the dream. Jonas. Did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? And yeah. did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... Huh. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want, forget I said anything. Ren, why do you even care about this? Oh, I don't know, maybe because you're my friend? And I'll miss you if you go? That's what a friend does. They miss the other person. And I don't want you to regret anything. So, yeah, never mind. Oh, Ren, you big knucklehead. I'd miss you too, okay? But for now, I'm not gone yet, and who knows what I'm gonna do, so... All right, all right. Oh, you two are like kittens in a paper sack. Ugh, what is that? It's a saying. No, it isn't. <laughs> the beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but... I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. Oh, well, look. There must be something. I mean, Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Who's that? That's so there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her. And I want her to be into me, so just 
you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or be any- Be cool? Don't be like, just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Just leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but I want to hear everything. It's not a big deal, really. Just forget about it. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as a daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's yeah, this is his first night here, so everybody be on your best behavior. Treat him as you would a scary dog. Palms out. <laughs> That's, um, I don't bite. It's fine. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah, um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Uh... I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> Her mom's getting remarried, that's all. She's getting remarried to a guy, and that's the guy's son. So, domino effect? Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Ugh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm with it. Listen to yourself. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> hey, what about me? What about you? Oh, I get it. I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. Faster. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach, island stuff. Yeah. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Well, I'm up for pretty much whatever, so... Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Hmm, oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime, in her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, 
getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so first, we're gonna- I'll start, Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You wanna go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, 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 I wanna- Clarissa, come on, you're supposed to ask like, have you ever stole something? Not super weirdo probing stuff. You ask probing stuff if you play the game right, Alex. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm-hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no. just say so. I mean, I, I I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's that's all. She's cool. All right. Great. Let's just move on. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary screw kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? It's fun. It's funny. I don't know. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. (laughs) Okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? Earth to Alex. This is Mission Control. You read me? Hey, honey, if you don't answer, that's a forfeit, and a forfeit's the same as a lie. Which means the penalty's the same. This is dumb, okay? It's dumb, come on. Hey, if you want to think the game's dumb, that's fine. But you're still getting punished. So march over here and take it like a big girl. Come on, Alex, it's time for your medicine. Oh! Yikes. Ugh, a little hard, don't you think? <laughs> Ow. See, we're slap sisters now, all in good fun. Yeah, uh... Good fun. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your Clarissa. Fi- oh, boy. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching, I'll admit. Well, wait. Do you like anyone? Like, like, like anyone? There's no one in school worth liking now. Come on. Ouch. So, no, I don't. But nice try. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um... What's your point, Clarissa? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably going to get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad, so... Let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't- What are you talking about? What is this even- What does this have to do with anything? Why did your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce, just- You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you- What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's let's not stop like this. We should like- Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm going to sit on the beach and drink and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could- And get- that's exactly what Nona's going to do, too. Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we- What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. (sighs) Whatever. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very clingy, Ren. (sighs) Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, I'll push you over. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot. Whenever you're ready, John. so. The cave. 
What's your bet? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? It's Ren, so definitely 10. He gets excited easily, but he has the concentration of a goldfish. The fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but, you know, you could've and you didn't, so thanks. Well, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't throw you in the deep end or anything. Not like a certain person who yelled at Andrew Finnegan about a certain junior high dance right in the middle of gym class. That was a joke, and he agreed, so no regrets. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally. Me, me, me. Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. Holy crap! Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. How... how is this... how can this be possible? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then. Because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but... They... they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds, like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Huh. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Are you... okay? I think so. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. God, it sounds... so... Yeah, it sounds... uh... Satanic. Not what I was gonna say, but close enough. Wait, what was that? There's like, this is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. Uh, yeah, what is that? I'm sure there is something in there, like a giant rabies filled bat or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here. Because I think... I think I mismeasured the magic. I think you mean brownie. I think you mean... Uh, yeah. Ren. Hmm. Shona Fana. Forget it.
Jonas? I bring an ashtray down here or a pen. See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. Didn't you hear no. me calling for you? Jesus, you scared me. What are you even doing? I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought... I thought I heard somebody down here, but... You know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this... how this happens. It's honestly creeping me out. I feel like we're in Satan's underground lair. <laughs> it's a little creepy, but... I mean, it's all just a cave. Just a natural cave. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. Maybe it is someone. You ever think of that? Maybe it's the crazy guy who lives here and he's gonna eat out our stomachs. <laughs> well, where is he then? In which of these tiny air holes does he hibernate? <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you... Might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. Pockets of it are cold, but not all of it. What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Um, yes. It must be like a... like a rainbow, or like a reflection of light? Those, um, exist, right? Um, cave, triangle rainbows? Uh, maybe? Until last week, I hadn't heard about parrotfish either, so I guess anything's possible. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Really? You think? Definitely. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. Apart from the, um, triangle, this is honestly the craziest thing in here. Like, how did it even get in? And I mean, aside from some, like, water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. Let's do it. Come on. Ready? Saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? A guy who can't see dogs? Did you see the first half? See a man about a dog? Yeah, I don't get it either. I guess it's locked. Yeah, I already tried.
Alex, really, I want to see what it's going to do. Oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? Uh... I... I think... I can't even... Like... What is... What? I know, I... I know! Is insane. Uh, who are are you? Who are you on the? Listen, Bob Two, she Two, sleepy time now. Is possible. I, I, I don't know what you mean. So I can't. Bob Two, leave children. Bye. See you soon. Alex. Alex! Alex! Alex? Are you okay? You alright? Uh, what happened? That is a very good question. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there. But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here. We can't leave without my friends, okay? You're... <sighs> Ren, sure, but does that list really include Clarissa? I'm not saying leave her, but... We can't leave anybody behind. They're here somewhere. This is not... This is not a thing. Okay. Okay. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. Jonas, what? You think I somehow teleported us here? If I could do one-tenth of what happened back there, I wouldn't haze the new kid. I'd rob a bank. Maybe that's your Wednesday. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Wait, Jonas, seriously, like, what just happened? My radio, I guess, opened something, and that something did something else. And that something was really friggin' scary and horrible, so let's just skip to the part where we get off the island and start suppressing it in therapy. Harden Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> <laughs> yep. It almost makes the whole trip worth it, doesn't it? I wouldn't go that far.
I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Probably the same thing as us. Transmogrified or whatever to some other part of the island. Great. It's locked. Let me try. Oh, after you. Oh, why, thank you. What are you even doing? Just have a little faith. See? I have to say, I'm impressed. How'd you do that? It's just pressure and a library card for most older locks. Huh. Cool. Warning, do not use aboard ship unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. Thanks, I guess. Fence should be off now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Well, I will, and have taken offense at your not believing in my ability at flipping switches. Is, um, is anyone there? It's, um, dead. Did you get anyone? I think someone was there, but I don't know. There's a dial tone, but... There's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nada. Ah! Ah! Jesus! Hello? Alex? Alex? Is that you? Ren? Oh! Jesus, Hoppin' Christ, thank Vishnu. I, you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's, it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at, uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like... Like, just the worst thing ever. Just DEFCON fuchsia level. Why... How did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? No, like I said, I must have, like, passed out, or... I don't know how I ended up here. Wait, I... I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's, like, a night watchman or something? Wait, or... Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick. Seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa. And I'm in the comm tower, Clarissa. Where are you? I, I don't know. I'm somewhere in Fort Milner. I don't know why. I, I don't remember like the last hour. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can, it says it can contact Kamina, but I don't, I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? No, just come here instead. Fort Milner's all the way on the other side of the island. Yeah, I know it is, Alex, but why would I go to the comm tower when there's a working radio that we can use to get help here? Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... And it dies, lady. Ren, are you still there? Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. So, want to truck over to Milner first, see about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but... Gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Ren sounded kind of more out of sorts than usual. I don't know. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can swing through the forest and nab Ren, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. You can decide. Ren needs us more. And he'd kill me if he knew we went to see Clarissa first. 
Sound Logic. All right, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. Let's get this done and get off this rock like the badasses we are. Yeah, righteous.